Hello guys, welcome to my new video and today we're going to talk about uh, 5 ways that you can make money uh, outside of a uh, daily and weekly task. So uh, before we get into it, please like and subscribe and also comment down below if you have any question after this video as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm and uh, let's get into it. Okay, so the first way to make money is by flipping in the market. Um, this is very difficult to do actually, um, considering I just made the video about this tier 2 gem chest thing you can flip. Um, well, if you want, you can look into my channel and look for that video, how I turned 100 gold to 20,000 gold in just, you know, a day. And uh, yeah, uh, the other way is to snipe accessories. Sniping accessories, there's a... Uh, there's some specific stats that you want to look for. Uh, usually, I would go for Grudge. Grudge is usually the stats that people want to look for. So you want to look for 3 Grudge and just search. And then you want to find all these. Like for example, this one is uh, Swiftness Igniter Grudge. That's actually... That could be really, really good actually. But uh, I'm not too sure, so so if I'm if I'm not too sure about this, I can always go and look it up. So we go to sorcerer. Where is it? Grudge igniter and then swiftness and then three and then we just kind of sort by the price. Uh, okay, so this is not worth a lot at all. They are like 50 gold. Uh, which is uh, weird. I don't play sorcerer, so I have no idea. So that's why I need to look it up. But yeah, you can go ahead and look up the stats that you know it's good. Uh, for example, let's say uh, Grudge and Curse Door. It's pretty common, commonly used together, I would say. And then maybe like Spec or Crit. So you want to look up all these accessories that you could possibly snipe. Uh, obviously, it's going to cost you Feyon as well and uh yeah it's gonna cost you a lot so you want to make sure your flip is gonna be worth it and yeah you you will also want to check out your blue crystal price as well currently the blue crystal price is very high and you need to do all the maps and stuff to calculate the fion uh price before you do the purchase and flip it so this is a little bit more uh uh difficult to do flipping accessories but uh yeah Flipping gems works too, but you need to really try and find the right gems to flip because uh, all these stuff you need to go through and do a lot of research yourself in the market and kind of just plan out like oh what gems worth what and then you know resell it. Considering gems doesn't, uh, you don't need to pay Feyon to buy gems, so gem is a pretty good way to make money, I would say, um, especially for the tier three gems, and uh, yeah. That is about it for this uh, method. It's very, very complicated. If you want me to make a new video about this, I can always do it. Um, yeah, let's get into the next one. So the next one is going to be farming valuable uh, collectibles. So you want the first thing you want to do is go to the Adventure Tome and then all. And then you want to sort the price. So you want to look for the items that is mostly at the top like for example southern just released so if you go and farm mobs in southern like look at this there's a lot of southern items here one two three um let's see uh these are not southern items um right now what i'm seeing is yeah southern is your best bet or phaeton phaeton is kind of hard i've been there before but there wasn't too many mobs over there but in southern you can find a fair bit of spots that have uh, quite a fair bit of mobs that you can just farm and then they have a chance to drop these uh fairly good price uh collectibles that you can resell it um yeah so yeah you can go ahead and farm these and just sell it to rocket it's that's that simple really but you need to find out the spots obviously um i couldn't give you the spots i only know a couple of them and uh let me find it actually so i think around this spot right here in south Vern, uh the Bellions ruins you want to go to here south ruins area like down south to here 
and there is quite a lot of mobs here i know that and there's a couple of elites up here as well in the south ruins they're pretty good to farm uh Berlin ruins is okay there's there's like a couple of group you need to walk around and farm if you're like me like death blade i can go around pretty quickly and kill them fairly quickly um but i don't know any other spots you have to find out uh yourself if you do want to do that but yeah these are the pretty good uh place that i've been farming before so yeah there you go farming collectibles is actually pretty good money and it's pretty afk i would say you just kind of sp spam your key and then you know watch some youtube video and you know you you, you get the drops and uh yeah and let's get to the next one all right the other one is to sell runs uh selling runs people actually pay for it uh surprisingly so if you're like a tier 3 like 1300 or 1340 or higher you can go and sell runs and try to find people people that needs help like uh Akadis, titalos argos even argos actually like people are selling argos run for like what 20k per run to like phase 2 or phase 3 i think because they they need to split that 20k between each other so you can pay for that uh well obviously if you can get a group going you can also make money that way too um like people i don't know there's just people that is not very good at the game i'm not saying i'm good at the game by the way um yeah so yeah titalos albert hastic well albert hastic is actually really easy but some people couldn't still couldn't do it um Akadis, uh people people need help with these then they, they are willing to pay like 100 go or 200 go or even 500 go sometimes for the run so yeah um you can also carry some abyssal run as well which is pretty great and people will pay, pay for it um i mean i can just scroll through and see there you go uh, this guy is trying to carry Valganos run which is 1385 uh guardian raid there you go they are trying to do like a 200 gold run um, let me see this guy yeah he's like 1418 so he will probably smash that really quickly and yeah it, it works you can do this run easily um but obviously you want to do it only for your service people not for other server because other service people cannot pay you so yeah, make sure you find your own servers uh, players before you do the run. Yep. And let's move to the next one. Collecting Masterpiece. Collecting Masterpiece is one of the easier way to earn some cash. Um, once you get like 20, I believe, 20 Masterpieces and you can get 3k gold and then you can get 5k gold. Then you, at 30, you can get 5k gold, I think. And then 34 you can get 8k and then 38 of them you get 13k go this is one of the way you can get go uh pr pretty easily i would say it just takes some time to collect all the masterpieces but yeah it's gonna be worth it at the end like the amount of go you can get from this is actually pretty darn good but yeah all right so let's move on to the last method so i just cleared out my excavating inventory just now and went together with my 10.5k trade skill uh points and this is what I got, 644 Ancient Relics, 326 Rare Relics, and 69 Oreha Relics. So what we got to do with these is you want to go to your Stronghold, go to your Workshop, and go to your Special tab. Then you want to click on the Tier 3 maps. And these are the maps that gives you the most rewards. And we're going to find out soon what you can get. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and craft it right now. I'm gonna use some and we're gonna do the map and then we'll find out what rewards you can get all right so i got this map right here it's in south and i already found the entrance and it's almost like a secret map but it's a solo map and we're gonna go in and we're gonna go through all these and kill the last boss and then we'll see the rewards at the end i think there's no boss okay now go ahead and uh editor go ahead and fast forward this until the chest part oh it's right there 
all right so there's a chest in here we can open and let's see what we get there you go and we will get some adept craft kit apprentice craft kit i think you can also get the legendary one which is worth a lot uh, let me see so you can get an expert one which is cost 1.8k if you're in na east i mean na west sorry and if you get a relic one it's gonna cost 7.5k which is a lot uh, but uh, the other two they don't worth as much so that's pretty unlucky and i also only got the solo grace uh, you can probably get solo uh breath as well from here which is probably like 200 go i think and uh you can sell this for 31 go if you want to i think i'm gonna sell it but yeah this is how you can make money with excavating or you can just go ahead and sell your mats right away if you think you're you're not lucky enough to you know grind for this then go ahead and sell your uh ancient relics oh uh, I, I don't need to use this uh i don't need to use this one ancient relic uh considering i'm gonna only doing tier 3 uh maps so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and sell these uh it's only 180 gold huh it's not that much huh but yeah this is how you can make money with excavating um you can also sell this if you want to but i'm not going to they are 13 go for 10 so yeah and that is about it for this video i hope you guys enjoy i hope this video helped uh yeah and i will think of more new go farming videos stuff as well and i will see you in the next one peace Bye.